hello everyone i hope you guys are having a wonderful night and um better than mine anyway <clears throat> and um i'm just doing this quick video because i'm coming up the road and i'm a bit upset and i'm gonna explain to you why no um i was shopping with my sister and i was coming off the main road trying to get into the walmart um the walmart and my, the light changed for me to go through which is like a <clears throat> sorry which is an arrow and the green so if you're in the turning lane you can turn and if you're going straight you can go straight so my light changed and i'm about to turn onto the road to walmart and this man and his bicycle ride up and stop blowing you know it's on or whatever at me so i stopped because i wasn't going too fast so i stopped to allow him to go through now i have been in this country as immigrant no as an american citizen for over 20 something years I came here when I was 14 and now I'm in my 30s so 20 something years and I've been to George senior I've been to Clinton I've been to George junior and I've been to Obama and now I'm currently in Trump period of time in all those years, 20 something years I've been in this country, I have gotten looks that make, people, make me realize that people are racist just by the look, the way they look at me or whatever, and the way they even talk to me. But in all my years in this country, I have never, ever, ever, 20 something years been called a nigger ever now i'm not saying that racist people in this country and they weren't always here oh for the love of god they were here they never left they never put down their way of thinking they never um try to hide it under cover they just it was tough for a bit but trust me as a colored person or a person from an immigrant from that country, we were always aware that there were racist people in this country. But to be quite honest, I have never in the last 20 something years ever been called a nigger by a white man or a white person. I've been called a nigger, please, by my own black people, not in the literal term as a nigger, but you know, just black people slain talking, you know. But this man shot at me, you effing nigger. And I'm like, bitch, wait a minute. I had to right away. I was allowing you your ass to pass because you decide to rush ahead of me and not wait. No. There's a whole bunch of shit that's going on in this world. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on in this world. You understand me? But the fact that they are so prevalent now to just can look in the face and just say it and they don't have no kind of shame they're not adding it no more they're not camouflaging it no more you know what i mean and it sad me to to realize that the person that i have in some way contribute to them behaving like this i feel like they have the right to behave like this now i'm not blaming him for this I'm just saying he's contributing in some way to this problem. So tell me now, I'm a nigger. Well, guess what? I was always a nigger. You get what I'm saying? But I'm more than a nigger. I'm a woman. I'm a mother, a daughter, a sister, an aunt, a cousin, a friend, a wife.
I was always more than a nigger. I'm a person with, with blood, just like you, same color blood, flesh, emotions, feeling. So this sudden need to all of a sudden be calling people nigger because you're whatever that's in house now is making it okay for you not to hide that part of you no more. It's not cute. It's not cute in any way, shape, or form. And I'm not saying that all white people are racist, but there are a few out there. And for me to be in this country for so many years, I pay my taxes, I work, It's, it's messed up. And I'm telling you, when he said it to me, I feel like I was going to have a heart attack because I've never had it happen to me before. And my sister was like, I don't even know why you're acting like this is surprising. It shouldn't be. I mean, this, they said to me, it wouldn't bother me. But for some reason, it bothers me. Until you have been called a nigger, you can see it doesn't bother you. But by a white person, yeah. Now, I refuse to go around and carry hate in my heart, even for the person that called me a nigga. Because that would make me know better than him. And God know my mama called me better than that bitch. She did. And my God that I serve, my God that I serve, I know for a fact that he doesn't see color. He just see your heart. So, you nasty ass man on the bicycle that called me that N word, I pray for you tonight. Pray that you find peace and you reach home safe and sound. That no one will look at you and call you a derogatory term or even the monster that you are walking around in that state. Because you are a monster. I have no doubt about that you are a monster. So, I was just upset about this and I had to put it out there. <sighs> so, I'm a nigga. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm coming from a rich, rich ass heritage. I'm coming from some strong ass fighters. I'm coming from people that you cannot keep down, knock out, lock up, put away, kill. Because we always spring back. We are the phoenix. We rise. We continue to rise. So when you feel like you can put us down and you can kick us, baby, we will only come back stronger. Always. The phoenix does not die. It will rise back from the ash. Just want y'all to know that. Peace.